Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our business valuation template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. A business valuation generally is a process wherein you determine the economic value of a business. This information is very useful to assess opportunities or acquisitions, plans for future growth, or transitions of businesses you currently have. This particular template estimates the business value using the net present value and the projected annual cash flow up to 5 years with 3 revenue scenarios. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, some instructions on how you can utilize this template, and some definitions for key terms. At the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. The only tab you really have to work on with this template is the Data Input tab. This template contains some placeholders to serve as your guide, so just follow along as I walk you through them. I'll also be inputting some placeholder values as we go along so we can see the end results. Note also to only put data in the white cells as the grayed out ones contain formulas. It's here where you input all the pertinent details needed for the pre-built formulas in the succeeding tabs for the business valuation. At the top, you have basic information such as company name, project name, and date. Below, you input the business acquisition price. Then, you have your financing details such as amount from loan, loan period in years, annual interest rate, and the return on equity. Return on equity, or ROE, is a measure of profitability in relation to equity. Next, we have revenue options. These are the different revenue scenarios that you might expose your finances to so you can create contingencies for any financial scenario. Input the standard, pessimistic, and optimistic scenario. We then have your expected annual revenue change, as well as your expected gross profit margin per year for 5 years. Let's say for this example, it's just a steady 5% each year. Next, we have operating expenses. List down the name of the expense and their corresponding cost for year 1. And the next year should be computed automatically based on your expected annual operating change percentage placed above. At the bottom, we have working or operating capital, which are essentially operating liquidity that a business can use to run its operations, like inventory, creditors, and debtors. Lastly, we have the capital expenses, which are the costs to maintain your assets. In the cash flow tab, we see the 5 year projections of cash flows to your company based on the data you provided earlier. This is useful if you want to get the raw numbers for forecasting. In the summary tab, it provides you the ratios that you can utilize to analyze, negotiate, or prospect if a certain acquisition or a sale of a business would be deemed profitable. We have a drop down list here to show you the different scenarios you placed earlier, whether it be standard, pessimistic, or optimistic. It gives you financial ratios such as the weighted average cost of capital, a quick portion for your cash flows, net present value, internal rate of return, and an estimated business valuation. It also gives you your annual debt repayments and the net cash flow after debt repayments. On the right side, we have a graph which shows the value of a business with respect to its acquisition price. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.